Hello everyone, welcome to Botany Officer channel for UPC examination. In today's video, we are continuing the series that is the agencies of pollination and in this particular video, we are focusing on the ornithophily. Before this video, we have studied the pollination by using the wind, pollination by using the water and pollination by using the insect. In this particular video, we are seeing the ornithophily which is the pollination by using the birds. Alright, so birds play a major role in the ornithophily in pollinating the plants. So before starting the video, I request you to join the telegram channel of the same name that is the botany optional for UPS examination on the telegram platform. There we regularly upload the PDFs of these videos plus link of these videos so that you will not miss any update relating with the botany optional channel. Alright, so let's learn about the ornithophily. First of all, let's consider what is the meaning of this word that is ornithophily. This word ornithophily is made up of the two words ornitho and phili. Ornis stands for bird and phili stands for loving. That is those plants which are pollinated by using the bird are called as ornithophilous plants. That is those plants which has such a flower that they attract the birds by giving out the nectar and in the process they get pollinated. Such a plants are called as the ornithophilous plants. Such plants are said to be the bird loving plants. Hence the term ornithophily is given for this particular concept. Now pollination through the agency of bird is called as ornithophily and plants is called as the ornithophilous plants. That is those are plants which you use birds as their pollinating agent are called as the ornithophilous plants while the flower are known as the ornithophilous flowers. Now example for this ornithophilous plants are the Pignonia, Beautia and Bombax. Alright. So all these examples you should carefully remember this because while writing down the concept of ornithophily you should be able to give the example for this ornithophily because it is very important to give example without the example your answer will not complete. Alright. So Bignonia, Beautia and Bombax all these plants shows the ornithophily phenomenon in which the birds pollinate the flower on the plants. Alright. Now let us consider some common birds which are used in ornithophily. Now there are many bird species which rely on the plant flower for their nectar and in this process they indirectly pollinate the plant. But there are a few species which are very famous for this particular concept such as the hummingbird, then sunbird and the crows. All these species are regularly visit the mature flower where they get the nectar and in the process the flower gets pollinated. So this is kind of a mutualistic relationship between plants and animals that is birds get the nectar from the flower while the flower gets pollinated by using the bird. So this is a symbiotic type of relationship in which both the species get benefited from the each other. So the common birds which are used in ornithophily are the hummingbird, sunbird and the crow like bird species. Alright. Now let's consider what are the floral adaptations in the ornithophily. As you know we have seen this since last three lectures that certain kinds of flower modification are there in order to achieve the pollination. As you know in a wind pollinated flowers there are different types of adaptations. In a water pollinated flowers there are different kinds of adaptations plus the insect pollinated flowers shows the very different types of adaptations. In a very similar way the ornithophilus plant shows the adaptations for the ornithophily that is getting pollinated by the birds is not easy task and plant flower has to make certain changes in their flower in order to attract the birds. Alright. So we will see this one by one. See the first the ornithophilus plants shows the large flowers and fleshy floral parts. Now this is obvious and very important. The flowers are very large as you know. Having the large flower is advantageous here because these flowers has to get pollinated by using the bird and bird species has the certain degree of body size and in accordance with the body size of a bird the, there should be the size of the flowers so that bird can sit on the flower and try to extract the nectar and at the same time flowers should not fall off from the branch due to the heavy weight of the bird. So having the large flowers is a beneficial for the ornithophilus plants. Now plus it has the very fleshy floral, floral parts. Now see having the fleshy floral parts is very important in the ornithophilus plants because what happens due to this fleshy floral part when the birds land on this fleshy part of the flower these are fleshy plant able to handle the weight of these birds due to the fleshiness in the flower they can they are literally able to hold all the weight of the bird and that is why these are plants that is the ornithophilus plants shows the fleshy floral parts all right now the second adaptation they have the corolla is tubular and funnel shape as you can observe this is an corolla this is a flower of a beautia monosperma and you can observe the corolla in all these three photographs their corolla is quite tubular and the funnel shape. Now having the funnel shape corolla is very attractive for the bird because they can 
directly come and sit into that funnel shape corolla because it looks like a chair arrangement for the birds and that is why they can easily sit and try to extract the nectar from these flowers so having the tubular and the funnel type corolla is advantageous for the ornithophilus plants then the third adaptation they have is the flowers are variously colored bright corolla as you can observe in this all plants they have variously colored corollas because having the very bright color corolla is advantageous because birds can see in these flowers from the kilometers away in order to notice these are flowers by the bird these are plants have a very bright cor corolla so that birds can see this corolla from very very distance and they can come to the flower so having the bright color is a notification for the birds that there is a colorful flower which contains the huge amount of nectar and this is why birds visit these flowers now the flowers lack the fragrance because birds have poor sense of smell see this is the very relevant adaptability according to the ornithophily that is the flowers of the ornithophilus plants do not show any type of fragrance that is there are no fragrance in the ornithophilus plants because the birds have very poor sense of smell that is bird cannot smell very well so having the fragrance is of no use for the ornithophilus plants and that is why they do not show any kind of fragrance so the so you have to remember the flowers of the ornithophilus plants are lacking the fragrance because it is of no use for them then the flower produce large amount of sugary nectar which is used as a drink by the birds now in order to attract birds on the flower these flower produce the large amount of nectar now producing the large amount of nectar in the flower is a great advantage because then and only then birds can come to this flower and try to drink this nectar and while they are on the flower the pollen grains are transferred from the flower to the bird and when these birds land on the other flowers release that pollen grains on the another flower and in such a way they they helps in the pollination so on the one hand the flowers are providing the large amount of nectar to the birds in order to have birds on these flowers and in and in main time pollen grains deposited on their body and when these birds land on the another flower they deposited their pollen grains on the stigma of that flower and hence achieving the pollination all right the next adaptation shown by them is the pollen grains are sticky as you know here you can observe all these pollen grains are sticky in nature this makes sense because whenever there is a landing of the bird on these flowers these pollen grains should be sticky in nature because they have to stick to the body of the bird in order to carry it away to the another flower and that is why these flower shows the pollen grains which have the sticky nature all right so all this is about the ornithophily i hope you like this lecture please like the video please share this video with your friends who are studying the botany and if you have any doubt please make sure to comment in a comment box and if you haven't subscribed to the botany option channel yet please subscribe to the botany option channel for upsc examination again thank you very much for watching this video see you in the next one